Congratulations, Xavier. You are the winner of Big Brother. It was an exciting finale on Big Brother Wednesday night as Xavier Prather was crowned the winner. And Xavier is joining us now on CBS in Denver to talk all about his experience uh, in the Big Brother house. So first of all, big congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks for having me. Of course. Thanks for joining us. And, you know, you made history becoming the first black player to win the show. What does this win mean to you knowing you've become a role model for just so many people? Um, it means everything. Um, you know, there was a black winner on Celebrity Big Brother and Tamar Braxton, the BB Can crowned a black winner, and Tashawn Carter Newman. But to be the first for BBUS is um, it's it's historic, it's groundbreaking, and to I hope I'm able to not only make the black community proud, but be you know someone that little black boys and black girls can look up to and be like, hey, if he can do it, so can I. Um, I think that's not only what I represent, but the members of the Cookout Alliance represent as a whole throughout the season. Great. And I know uh, on the show you talked a lot about how you wanted to win for your nephew. Um, have yes. you had a chance to talk to him about it? What his, what's his reaction been like as well? I haven't been able to talk to my nephew yet. It's been kind of a, a busy last 12 hours. Uh, but as soon as I get done kind of doing a lot of these media and press, um, I'm going to definitely give him a call, probably face time. And uh, I'm sure he's, he's overjoyed. But uh, yeah, he's, he's my little guy. And uh, I feel good that I'm able to kind of keep that promise to my brother by winning. That's so neat. Um, you know, you took home the largest prize in Big Brother history, uh, $750,000. What do you plan to do with that money? Um, first, I want to go ahead and kind of establish a, a college fund for my nephew. So in the event that he does choose to go to college, hopefully finances are an issue and um, or at least have that money for a rainy day for anything that he wants to pursue. Um, I want to help my family out with, and friends out with any financial issues that they're having. Um, winning the prize money wasn't necessary for me. I mean, obviously it can help me pay off some student loan debt, but um, it was primarily what that money could do for the people that I care about. And um, so that's why I plan on doing it. And then whatever I have left over, probably save or invest, you know, try to be smart with the money. So right. it sticks around for a while. Right, it's really neat. You just think about your family and your nephew through all this. Um, okay, so you're a lawyer, but on the show you hid that from the rest of the housemates. Uh, did you feel that was necessary to win the game? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I feel like if they knew I was a lawyer, um, I probably would have gotten booted pretty early. Um, I didn't enjoy, you know, kind of the, the lying, the deception, the manipulation of the game, but that is the game of Big Brother. Uh, that's what we all signed up for. And apparently I wasn't the only one who had a secret. Um, <laughs> the cast was pretty impressive, I got to say. Um, even Hannah, who I called my baby sister, is light years more intelligent to me. So, like, credit to her and all the other people who have found success in their own right and in their own professions. This is so fun to watch. Um, tell us, too, besides winning, what was your favorite memory from the Big Brother house? Uh, my favorite memory from the Big Brother house was on day 65 when all members of the Cookout Alliance were the final six house guests in the Big Brother house. Um, we not only made history by ensuring that BB23 would crown its first black winner, but we made history by being the only alliance of six to actually make it to the final six. And I think that's a testament to how well we played the game for 65 days. Great. Is there and, anything else you want to share about your experience that we haven't talked about? Um, it was a once in a lifetime experience. Uh, I was the winner, but I owe everything in my win to those five other people in the cookout. Without them, I don't think that I make it to the end chairs, or if I do, it would take an it would, it would have been a very different story. So I, I owe everything that I have to them. Um, I'm dead to them. They're amazing people, and I couldn't pick a better group of people to uh, play this game with. Awesome. Well, Xavier, thanks so much for joining us on CBS in Denver. And again, big congratulations to you. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Of course. We'll be right back.